In this tutorial in Planning Center Online, I'd like to show you how to set, edit, and delete blackout dates. These are times when you're not available to be part of the activities of your particular team. In order to do that, you go to Planning Center Online with your account, and then you log in. Once you log in, you'll see a screen that may look somewhat like this one. Your particular church and, and details will be different. But there's a calendar on the left. If you don't find it, you can click on the Tabs tab until you click on one of the plans that has your calendar. And underneath the calendar, there are several boxes. One says Block Out Dates. I'm going to click on that little bar. And now I have my dates. I'll click on my first blockout date, which will be Thursday the 2nd, and this box pops up. I can do repeats if I want to. I'll make this simple and say no, and I can just schedule one date, or I can click this box under the word end date and give me another date. I'll click on the third, and now I have a two-day blockout. Then when I'm done, if I can put a reason in here, I'm going to skip that part, but I'll click on Save. And now if I look back at my calendar, I have two days that are red with an asterisk. And when I hover the mouse over, it says you blocked out this date. If I want to edit that or delete it, I just move my mouse into the gray box. And in the upper right corner, click on the small edit. It takes me to this screen here where I can change the end date. Let's say I decided I want it to go all the way through Saturday. And I can click on Save. And now I have a three-day blockout section. If I think, oops, I wanted to make that in April, not March, well, I'm going to delete it. So I just hover the mouse over that, drag into the gray area, click on Edit, and then I'll choose Delete. It says, are you sure? I say yes, OK. And now my calendar is clear. Let me show you another way to get to the place where you set the block out dates. You click on your name. When you hover the mouse, it turns from light green to dark green. And choose the profile option below your name. Once you choose that, you get to your profile screen. Uh, in the middle, there's a little green box that says Add Blockout Dates. I click on this and I'm back to my familiar calendar. I can click on the date here. We'll make it two days again. We'll say we'll go Wednesday and Thursday, or Thursday and Friday. Got to go to Friday here. And uh, I could type in a reason. We're going to ignore that for now. And I'll click on Save. And I can't see the results of it until I click on my Plans tab. And then my calendar pops up. And I see I have these two days reserved again. And I say, oops, I made another mistake. So we'll delete it. I simply, again, hover the mouse, drag to the gray box, click on Edit. And in this case, I'll undo all that. Not to confuse the folks at our church. Yes. And they're clear again. And then when you're all done, you can click on your name and simply log out of your account in Planning Center that's tied to your church. We hope you find this lesson helpful. Thank you.